we have a choice not to work with motherfuckers. And that's what this video is going to be about. So this is going to be fun, man. Strap up your seatbelt. Let's jump in. I hope you're ready for some real talk, a real rant, probably the first rant I've ever done on the channel so far. Because I am, I am so exhausted dealing with vampires. And I'm hoping that you get a lot of utility out of this message today. So as you reflect on your life and your business, and what am I talking about? What is the definition of a motherfucker? A motherfucker is somebody who has no zero regard for you and it is all about them and that they are going to suck the life out of you at all cost with no regard whatsoever for your well-being as long as they get what it is that they want. Let me give you an example. So I make all this content here on YouTube and obviously YouTube is free and I'm not the only one, but content creators go to great lengths to make all this free content for people. But for some reason, there's a lot of motherfuckers out there who forget the fact that uh, all the work that goes into making all this content to which they don't give a fuck because they are so entitled that they're like, well, I, don't, I don't care about that. Uh, I want the content. And when I send you a message on Instagram, if you don't respond to me in the time I want you to respond to me, uh, I'm gonna go out there and talk shit. And I'm like, well, of course you would. You are a motherfucker. And the, the thing that blows my mind is the audacity these motherfuckers have. Do you think for one second that me or anybody else for that matter literally sit around and wait for your ass to send me a message on Instagram and the second you send it, I'm sitting there waiting to respond. What, what, how the fuck do you have that expectation? Here's a better one. Just this morning, so funny how this happened. I had another motherfucker. I was in a team meeting this morning and on our website, reverseselling.com, we put in um, something where you could just like call our company direct, you can text our company direct. Again, thought that that would be useful for people to get information, to, to ask questions. Well, had another motherfucker come on that this morning. And as this happened during our team meeting, it was just ironic. I want Brandon, to which we were in a meeting and the person who handles the inbound messages from our website to which we get thousands per day was like, well, cool, he's in a meeting right now. Is there something I can help you out with? This motherfucker responds with, great way to uh, dodge my question. I asked for Brandon, you asshole. That's how he responded. So doing things that I like to do, I pick up the phone and call this motherfucker. And I'm like, hey, you just called somebody on my team an asshole for asking how they can help you because I wasn't there at your beck and call when you called into a company. No, that's right, because you're a motherfucker. And I asked him a question. I said, hey, let me ask you a question. If you called Amazon and asked for Jeff Bezos, what do you think would happen? To which he said, uh, yeah. That's fair, that's fair. I said, okay, so you were just being a motherfucker. He's like, yes, I'm sorry, he apologized. And I'm like, to what an audacity do human beings have? This sense of entitlement. You know, I have a lot of you that have reached out for coaching, which, which has been great. I work with a lot of you that, that watch content here on the channel. We have a business, right? It's not like I just sit around and fucking twiddle my thumbs and wait for somebody to call, like, yippee! Uh, that's just not how it works. We have a real business. And here's another example. I'll have somebody click a link or, or, or reach out for coaching. It's like, I want Brandon. I want Brandon. I want Brandon. I don't want to talk to anybody but Brandon. Just Brandon. Only Brandon. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let, let me talk to this motherfucker. So I get on a call and I'm like, okay, cool. You want to talk about coaching? Let's, let's talk about it. And then here's what happens. I'm not even shitting you. This is exactly 
This is a real example. So this same person, so I take him on as a coaching client, just more as an example, I knew it wasn't gonna work anyway. Uh, and of course, like motherfuckers do, you know, blowing me up day and night, day and night, day and night, takes no responsibility for his own actions. He wants me to be his savior. You're gonna make me successful. This is on you. And he's like, you don't have any time for me. I'm like, well, yeah, listen, motherfucker. Because if you want me taking phone calls, remember when you reached out for coaching and you said, I don't wanna talk to anybody else on your team but you. If I were to do that all day long, I don't have any time to coach you, motherfucker. And he's like, oh yeah, that's a great point. Just like the other dude I talked to this morning. If I took all the calls coming in off my website, I wouldn't have any videos for you to watch like this, motherfucker, that caused you to reach out in the first place. Oh God, I didn't think about that. Right, because you're a motherfucker. Well, I'm just gonna blow your shit the fuck up. And if you don't respond to me, and it's like, dude, if I just sat there and responded all this crap, all these vampires, well, I wouldn't have any time to do the work that actually mattered to serve the people that, uh, that are grateful for, for the work that we do together. And I look back on my years in real estate and in the mortgage business, it's the same shit. And we have a choice. Like we don't have to deal with what I call motherfuckers. Like we don't. And for too long, I did. And it was probably a sense of like, I don't know, insecurity or something. Like, oh, I gotta respond to every comment. I gotta respond to every DM. I gotta respond to every email. Well, the vast majority of those people that refuse to follow a, a process so that I can serve them at the high, highest level is the dead nuts giveaway that they are a motherfucker that I shouldn't be dealing with anyways. Like, I have a link that allows you to talk to my team. I'm fucking bypassing that shit. Let's go right to your DMs. Hey, Brandon, I need to talk to you. I don't wanna be talking to nobody else on your team, bro. I wanna to talk to you. That's just, now I don't even respond to those. Cause I'm like, dude, I have a process for that and I'd love to help you. But if your ego is so out of control that you have to just, you know, uh, bypass that, you're too good to follow the process. Dude, I can't help you. I can't serve you. I don't want to work with you. And the audacity, the thought that people do this is blows my mind. There's not a company out there you call and it's like, I need to talk to the fucking owner right now, uh, sir. Uh, he is unaccessible. All right, well, fuck you then. Okay. Well, dude, there's just doesn't make any sense, right? And I think probably, to be fair, it's just typical amateur, immature realtor behavior. And that's why a lot of us can't have a team, can't grow a company, can't lead anybody because our own worldview is I'm the only person that could do everything, so my expectation is that how that's how every other company works, but it's not how every other successful company works, does it? And so my whole point with today's rant is that you have a choice that for too long I allowed people like this to, to take from me so much. And I paid the price big time emotionally. You know, I'm like, serve, 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 serve. It's like the more I give, it's like a child. The more I would give, the more people would take with no remorse. And I learned, it's like, no, the, only, the, the best working relationship between me and somebody else is one of mutual respect. And when motherfuckers come to you and they want to work with you, whether that be a seller, a buyer, it doesn't matter uh, what you do, whether that be in real estate or not, I learned the hard way. And, and, and you know what it is? It's a scarcity mindset. Just working with anybody and every, everybody. And I learned over the last five or 10 years that that just doesn't put you in a spot to love what you do, but rather resent it. And it causes uh, you to, to give the client worse service, resent them for it. It causes mass conflict in your life where the whole time it's like, well, I didn't need to work with this motherfucker in the first place. There was red flags all over the place. So when people ask of you ridiculous, unreasonable request, refusing to uh, 
work with you in the way in which you work with people. They want to just bypass all of that. I, I think for me anyway, it's like that's the red, that is the exact moment where I run. It's like, oh, thank you. You're reaching out for coaching and you just, you, you just want to bypass everything. I think you just blow me up and I'm going to just jump at that. That is the exact reason I don't even respond. Because if the relationship starts off with disrespect and attacking me and my company because we don't do what you want when you want it, dude, you're a motherfucker. And it's all good. It just, it just, it's just your inner uh, pain showing up because you're so fucking unhappy that you're going to make anybody that will listen pay for it. And that's what prompted this video today. It's like, man, oh man, I love to serve people under the, the uh, premise that there is a mutual respect. I love it. And any client that I have, any coaching client that I have will tell you the same thing, that I will do so much extra for you than what it is you signed up for all day, every day when there's a mutual respect. But if you're a motherfucker, I got no room in my life for that. And I hope that you don't either and that you have a choice to make with the people in which you serve. And listen, you don't have to serve everybody. That's the biggest takeaway. You do not need to serve everybody. In fact, you shouldn't because most people are motherfuckers. And most people don't appreciate what it is that you do. Fine, don't work with them. Let them go work with other people with a scarcity mindset. You focus on the people where there's a mutual respect and I think you're gonna be a lot happier.